Our cameras were also there as these high schoolers at Miami Northwestern Senior High made their way into class this morning. And here are students all ready to go at Charles Drew K through 8 Center in Northwest Miami Dade. A busy day for students all across Miami Dade County. Our team coverage turns now to local 10 news reporter Madeline Wright. And she has the very latest on those mask mandates in the classroom for both Miami Dade as well as Broward counties. Madeline. Christy Janice, the mayor and superintendent, came to this high school earlier this morning to wish students well on their first day of school. Despite threats from the Florida Board of Education, the superintendent is standing by his district's mask mandate. In fact, seven districts in Florida, Palm Beach, Miami-Dade, Broward, Alachua, Leon, Sarasota, and Hillsboro have all enacted some form of mask mandate in defiance of Governor Ron DeSantis' executive order. Festive mood pervaded Barbara Goldman Senior High School this morning as students and teachers headed back to class for the first day of school. I was at home because of COVID for two years and it's better to be in school, I think. Are you excited? Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava and Superintendent Alberto Carvalho toured the school amid swirling controversy over the district's mask mandate. Just like Broward County, which went back to school last week, in Miami-Dade County, students and staff are required to cover up indoors unless they have a doctor's note. We need to make sure that we adhere to and embrace uh, these protocols. If they're not followed, then we become Hillsborough County, where over 10,000 students and adults have had to quarantine because of the relaxed protocols. But on Friday, the Florida Board of Education sent a letter ordering Broward and Alachua counties to give parents the choice to opt their children out of masks or lose state funding equal to the salaries of its board members. Broward schools have until 10 a.m. tomorrow to change their stance. We have not received any, uh, any uh, correspondence from the governor or the commissioner. Uh, but I have no doubt that probably we'll, we will. The same way President Joe Biden offered Broward schools federal money to offset the loss of any state funds, the mayor says she's willing to step up with any county funds for the Miami-Dade School District. If there is a need for the county to come together in support of the school board, we certainly will find a way to do so. And back live at Barbara Goldman Senior High School, the superintendent says that any student who was exposed to coronavirus will be quarantined for 10 days. Follow me for updates on the first day of school on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at MWPLG. Live in Miami Lakes, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.